desde un oficial golpeando a un adolescente en la cara hasta un agente amenazando a un menor y sus amigos. He aquí cuatro instancias donde los chicos de azul fueron sorprendidos agrediendo a teenagers inocentes sin razón alguna. En algún momento de enero de 2022, hubo un giro durante una parada de tráfico habitual, cuando Chris Faria al volante confesó haber pasado por alto una señal de alto provocando problemas cuando la oficial Christine Newman, del condado de Camden, los detuvo. Las cosas se pusieron bien tensas cuando la oficial le pidió a Faria que saliera. La oficial Christine gritaba amenazando con romper la ventana del auto si Faria no salía. Al momento, perdió la calma, sacó a Faria del carro y lo derribó en el suelo. Con otro oficial masculino uniéndose, las cosas se calentaron como horno para Faria. Al verle resistiendo las esposas, el oficial masculino sacó rápidamente una taser y la aplicó sin dudarlo. Mientras se dirigían hacia el coche patrulla de la oficial Christine, ella golpeó a Faria en la cara no una, sino dos veces. Para agregar al calvario, ella golpeó la cabeza de Faria contra la patrulla una vez más. El oficial Robert sacó rápidamente su arma e instruyó a Pacheco a salir. Asustado y confundido, Pacheco obedeció las órdenes del oficial y salió del auto solo para ser inmediatamente esposado sin pensárselo dos veces. Mientras estaba esposado, Pacheco se encontró rodeado de oficiales que, después de interrogarlo a él y a su familia, se dieron cuenta de que lo habían identificado erróneamente como sospechoso debido al camión que conducía. Hello. Oh, sorry, ma'am, I couldn't hear you. 
So I guess there was a confusion, but this was a truck that we were giving out to uh, look out for. I am livid. You know what? No, I understand that. Later, and you guys have him fucking handcuffed. He just got out of school. You're talking about a 4.2 GPA kid. I that's understand, ma'am, but that's the information that we're given, you know, so that's 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 why we well, pulled him over. Your information before. Yes, ma'am, uh, but that's the information that we were I given. I need your name, and I need, I need your badge number. Okay, Officer Rodriguez. And what is your badge number? 7135 oh, one, now. 135? Yes, ma'am. You will be hearing from my attorney. This okay. Is that's fine, ma'am. You literally detained him and put him in handcuffs. He's a fucking minor. No, I understand, but at the time we don't know that, so that's why we were that's why we were rolling for it. What are you doing with him now? So he's gonna get released. He's gonna go home. This is fucking ridiculous. You yes, ma'am. Hearing from my attorney. Okay, that's fine. What is your What is your matter? Is this Espanol PD or who the hell are you? So Espanol PD is the one that received the call, and they're the ones that put out the bolo for the vehicle. Uh, this is state police. This is ridiculous. Nothing in your right mind that he's a fucking minor? No, ma'am. Well, we don't know. We don't know because the vehicle is not registered to him. It's registered to you, right? It's registered to his dad who has the same fucking name. Right. Well, your, your, your name is Lisa Pacheco? No, her name is Daniel. Yeah. Name is Daniel. Uh, Detective Anaya will call you and he will answer more. Espanol Police Department. He'll answer more, more questions that you have. You know what's illegal to El oficial llamó a la madre de Pacheco y se disculpó por el error pero ella obviamente estaba furiosa. Además, para mejorar las cosas para sí misma, anotó el nombre y número de placa de la gente para que ella pudiera presentar una demanda en su contra. No, so we were given information that this uh, vehicle was possibly used in an armed robbery earlier in the day. So that's why we pulled it over. Is this what was but, going on by McCurdy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we pulled it over. But once we realized it wasn't, I mean, it's not him, so he's he's good to go. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here, right. just... Yeah. So that's 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 a whole a whole reason. Okay. So, yes, ma'am. All right. You. You're welcome. Pacheco fue liberado y llevado con seguridad por una vecina. Sin embargo, la historia no terminó allí. La familia de Pacheco presentó una demanda contra el Departamento de Policía, lo que llevó al Departamento de Seguridad Pública de Nuevo México a tener que pagar un acuerdo de 200 mil dólares. Ups. El repentino arresto de un adolescente en edad escolar podría haberle causado un grave malestar mental y de manera similar, el siguiente caso también está relacionado con cómo un oficial manejó mal la situación con un menor. El incidente comenzó cuando el agente James y su equipo notaron a un grupo de adolescentes en un auto. El oficial dijo que escuchó un lenguaje ofensivo, lo que los llevó a detener el carro. Bird, yes, sir. I'm gonna ask you one time. How long you had your license? Over six months. Over six months. So everybody, you're good to haul everybody around there, yes, okay? Yes, sir. I'm gonna ask you one time. Yes, sir. All right. If you don't, we're gonna go another route with it. Who yelled out of your jeep when you went by us? It was Brandon. Who? Brandon. Which one's Brandon? In the front seat. Got the jeep. Una vez que el oficial se dio cuenta de que Brandon Hughes, de 17 años, había pronunciado la frase ofensiva, tomó una acción decisiva que no era necesaria. What you have to say? Nothing. No, tell me one more time you're going to jail, son. What's your name? Brandon Hughes. Brandon Hughes. Yes, sir. I know who you are. Yes, sir. Is there something you need to say to us that you want to yell out the window? No, sir. Who are you yelling at? Hey, look at me when you talk to me, son. Who are you going to yell at? What'd you say? F the police. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. 
You're sorry. Get your hands out of your pocket. Why you want to say that to the police? I don't know y'all protect us. I shouldn't have. No, I ain't protecting you. All valid. Yes, sir. F the police. Why? You can get back to Why do you want to F the police, son? I don't. Why do you say it then? You think it's going to make you a badass or something no, in front sir, of everybody? No, sir, I don't, because I'm getting fussed out right now. You want to fuck the police? No, sir, well, here I, I am, right I here, brother. I don't want to. Why not? You're tough. El oficial claramente muestra agresión hacia el adolescente exigiendo que ponga sus manos sobre él. Pero el chico parece perturbado por lo que hizo, aunque no fue ilegal. Maybe the day you was in court, remember? Yes, sir. I'm giving you every opportunity. No, sir. Then why you want to yell about it when you're in front of your buddies right there? Is it cool? No, sir. You, you trying to be a badass in front of them? No, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. I'm giving you every opportunity yes, to fuck me up. You understand? Yes, sir. Now, let me ask you this. What have I ever done to you? Nothing at all. Not a damn thing. What has my partner ever done to you? Not a thing. Not a damn thing, right? Yes, sir. So why do you want to fuck the police? I don't. I was being dumb. Now, it's a little bit more than being stupid is what I think. So do you, let me ask you something. Next time you get caught selling weed or having weed on you, do you think somebody's going to try to cut you a break? If I go to goddamn jerking everybody out of that damn Jeep and I find one ounce of damn weed, do you think I'm going to take everybody to jail? Yes, sir. No, sir. Just me. No, hell, I'm going to take every one of your damn friends to jail. Yes, sir. How old are you? Six, seventeen. I didn't know y'all could be so goddamn stupid anymore. Everybody get out of the Jeep. Yes, sir. You want to see how big of a damn po asshole police is? Incluso después de que Brandon se disculpara honestamente por sus acciones, James continuó gritándole y amenazándolo a él y a sus amigos, sugiriendo que todos podrían enfrentar tiempo en la cárcel por cosas que no habían hecho. You want to see how big of a damn po asshole police is going to be? I'm fixing to show you. I'm fixing to search every damn one of you and every damn ounce of this Jeep. Now, so help me God, if I find one damn seed, every damn one of you is going to go to jail because of fuck the police, son. Yes, sir. 17, can you 25 with me up at Checkers? Okay? Up here at Checkers. Pasando a los amigos, James instruyó a todos a salir del vehículo y realizó una búsqueda sin una razón u orden. I'll take Powell back in there. Y'all ain't done nothing wrong. Ain't no sense in y'all paying for this stupid ass is down. That's that knucklehead off of Elm Street right there. Yeah, I don't remember y'all from. He don't believe it, but I swear to God I can beat him in basketball. You can't shoot. You still got to play me. I've been asking you since I was on Elder. Dude, let me tell you something. I got two damn torn up ligaments. I will smoke both of y'all. Y'all can play two on one. Let me tell you something. You'd be so, you'd be so damn fight. You'd be on your little skinny ass. I'm telling you. You ever seen Charles Barkley play? James permitió que todos los amigos se fueran, pero insistió en que Hughes se quedara atrás. Después de un tiempo y una discusión, Hughes también fue liberado. Why do you really feel like that? Because you really feel like that. Huh? I mean, what, I would be okay if you were just trying to be a badass in front of your boys. Because you obviously have some pent-up frustrations. And I'm going to tell you right now, neither one of us done anything to you. So tell, so tell me, uh, be honest, be honest about it. Why in the world do you really feel that way? Because deep down you, you have to feel it. Because that, 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 you know what, I've been, I've been, I've done some crazy stuff in my life, not once have I ever said that. Have you ever had a bad run-in with the police or anything? Yeah, bud. Yeah, man, go ahead. Al ver el vídeo, el jefe de policía de Social Circle, Tyron Oliver, tomó la decisión decisiva de despedir a James por maldecir, amenazar a un menor y violar varias políticas. Las cosas podrían haber sido manejadas fácilmente de una manera más cortés, pero el agente pensó de otra manera. En contraste, observa cómo otro oficial de policía puede cruzar su límite de ser espantoso 
y aprovecharse de los adolescentes hasta este punto. El pasado 9 de julio, el oficial Boyer y el oficial Díaz se vieron obligados a detener a tres adolescentes solo porque fueron acusados de apuntar con pistolas de aire comprimido a la policía. Este incidente ocurrió mientras los agentes intentaban hacer un arresto tras una persecución policial de varias horas por la ciudad. En un giro preocupante de los acontecimientos, se observó al oficial Díaz golpear repetidamente en la cara a uno de los adolescentes sospechosos hasta que otro oficial intervino. Simultáneamente, el oficial Boyer golpeó el hombro del adolescente múltiples veces. Cuando los golpes físicos no fueron suficientes, el oficial Díaz recurrió a escupir en uno de los sospechosos cuyo rostro ya estaba cubierto de sangre. Well, it's gone. Uh, did you guys make an apprehension? 
No, right? You guys didn't make an apprehension? All right. Okay. All right, I'm going off scene. Los sospechosos fueron transportados en un coche patrulla y después de unos meses, se realizó una investigación sobre la conducta de ambos oficiales. Sorprendentemente, no se presentaron cargos contra ninguno de ellos y se les permitió continuar con sus deberes. Llegados aquí, ¿acaso no has visto este otro incidente? Yo no me lo perdería, ¿eh?